Hello Pokemon fans, welcome to The Lair, I'm TD and today we'll be unboxing a box of 10 Pokemon cards I sent to PSA over a year ago and I just got them back. They strip them in these nice little boxes, professionally packaged so they don't get damaged in shipping. Let me get them out of this box and we'll see what grades we got. Alright, let's go. The card we are looking at is a 1999 Pokemon game based Nidoking, a hollow the number 11 card. Look at the front surface and the graphics of this card. It looks really clean. I don't see any problems. The hollow shines nicely in the light. Looking at our centering from top to bottom, I think it's within tolerance, but from left to right, I think it's a little to the right, possibly without uh, taking us out of tolerance. And our edges and our corners are really clean. As we take a look at the back of this card, you can see that the centering uh, looks better than in the front. It might be slightly to the left, but I'm sure it's within tolerance because it's better for the back. Looking at our surface, it's really clean, no problems there. And our edges and our corners, there might be some very slight damage on the right corner. And that's going to give us a grade of mint 9 for old Nittle King. That's pretty good for a 20-year-old holographic card. Let's take a look at a 1999 Pokemon game based Jinx, the number 31 card. Looking at the front of this card, you can see the surface is nice and clean. There's no dents, no damage, no dirt, nothing like that. Looking at our centering, our centering looks really good from top to bottom and left to right. And looking at our corners, the corners look really good. Looking at our edges, the top edge, dead center, there is a nick or damage that I see there. As we look at the back of the card, you can see that the surface is nice and clean. There's no damage. Looking at our centering, I think it looks really good. There's way within tolerance. And looking at our corners and our edges, I don't see any problems with the edges. Um, looking at our corners, there might be some slight damage on both right corners. And with that nick on the top edge, that's going to give us a grade of excellent mint 6, which I expected with that nick. We have a 1999 Pokemon game base Poliwrath, a hollow, the number 13 card. Looking at our old Poly here, you can see that the surface looks clean. There's no issues there. Looking at our hollow, I think it looks great in the light. Uh, our centering, I think, is within spec from top to bottom and left to right. Looking at our corners and our edges, there is what's called silvering down the right edge. Looking at the back of the card, you can see that the first glance is, it looks really good. Um, our surface looks clean. There's no damage, no dents. Looking at our centering, uh, I think it's within tolerance. I don't see any issues that will affect the grade there. But once we get to our edges and our corners, all four edges and all four corners have slight damage. And that's going to give us a grade of excellent, I mean near mint, mint 8. Wow, that's better than I thought I was going to get. Let's look at a 1999 Pokemon game base Kakuna, the number 33 card. Uh, this front surface of this card I think is very clean. I don't see any damage. Our surface is nice. Looking at our centering, I think it's within spec. I don't see any issues there, from especially from top to bottom. Left to right, they might get a little close to spec. Looking at our corners and our edges, I don't really see any damage that will affect the grade. Let's move to the back of the card and you can see that the surface is clean. There's no damage, creases or bends, no dirt. Looking at our centering, I think it's within tolerance. It looks really good. Um, you know, might be a little towards the top, but I think it's within tolerance. Finally, looking at our corners and our edges, our top, bottom and right edge all have slight damage. And that's going to give us a grade of near mint, mint 8. That's not too bad. This is a good card. The 1999 Pokemon game base Venusaur, the hollow, the number 15 card. Looking at the front surface of this card, you can see the hollow looks really good in the light. I don't see any damage to the surface. Looking at our centering from top to bottom and left to right, I think uh, they're with intolerance. And finally looking at our edges and our corners, I think they look really good. As we turn this card over and look at the back, you can see that the surface is nice and clean. There's no bends, no damage, no dirt. Our graphics look good. Looking at our centering, uh, I think it's within tolerance. It looks pretty good at the for, as we take a look. But finally, as we look at our centering and our corner, I mean our edges and our corners, you can see that there is some slight damage to the two right and the lower left corners. And we're going to receive a grade of mint 9 for this Venusaur. 
That's awesome. That makes this a valuable card. We are fishing for a 1999 Pokemon game based Magic Magic Carp, a the number 35 card. Looking at Magic Carp here, you can see that the surface is really clean. I really like this card. Uh, our edges and our corners, I think, are nice and clean. Looking at our centering from top to bottom, uh, I think it's within spec, but left to right, I think we might be going out of spec towards the right. The back of this card looks really nice. I don't see any problems with the surface. Our centering looks within tolerance from top to bottom and right to left. And looking at our corners and our edges, I don't see any damage on the edges and our corners. I looked really hard and I think they're really clean. So that's going to give us a grade of mid 9 for this magic card. I think it was that off center on the front that took us from a grade 10. I have a 1999 Pokemon game base Beedrill, the number 17 card. The front surface of this card I think is really clean. I don't see any damage, no dirt. It was a good card to send in. Our centering is within tolerance, I believe. And our edges and our corners show no damage that I can find. As always, we look at the back of the card. Um, our centering, I think, is good from top to bottom and left to right. Our surface is nice and clean. There's no damage to the graphics. Looking to our edges and our corners, I see some edge damage on the upper edge, but I think the rest of the car corners and edges look pretty good. And we're going to get a grade of mint nine. That's pretty good. I love those nines. Let me show you a 1999 Pokemon game based Nidorino, the number 37 card. Looking at this card, you can see that the surface is clean. There's no bends, no damage, no dirt, nothing that'll affect the grade. Looking at our centering, I think our centering is within tolerance. It, it should be with good for us. Um, looking at our oranges and our corners, they look really clean. And as I look at the back of the card, you can see that the surface is nice and clean. The graphics look great. Our centering is within tolerance from left to right and top to bottom. And looking at our corners and our edges, the two right corners show a little bit of damage, but all the edges look pretty clean. And that's going to give us a grade of mint nine. Man, a nine for a Nidorino. Pay attention to this card, this 1999 Pokemon game based Doug Trio, the number 19 card. As we first look at this card, the surface looks great. Um, our centering looks really good from top to bottom and left to right. As we get to our corners and our edges, you look and you can see that um, just down about a third of the way on the right side, there is a uh, bend or a slight bend or damage to the edge. Um, and that's going to affect our grade. As we continue inspecting this card and we look at the back, you can see that his front first glance looks really good. Our surface looks good. Our centering looks good. But when we get a closer look, about a third of the way down on both side edges, there is a little bit of a bend or damage on the edge. And on our upper and lower right corners, on the right edge of the upper right corner and the lower edge of the lower right corner, always that type of bend edge damage which is going to really affect our grade. And that's going to give us a grade of excellent five. Wow, that's a little better with, I, than I thought I'd get with all those bins. Let's look at a 1999 Pokemon game based Porygon, the number 39 card. Looking at the surface of this card, you can see it's nice and clean. There's no bends, no dirt, no damage. Looking at our centering, I think it looks really nice. I don't think there's any problems with tolerance there. Uh, looking at our corners and our edges, they seem really clean and nice. As we take a look at the back of the card, you can see that the surface is nice and clean. The graphics look great. Our centering, I think, is within tolerance from top to bottom and right to left. Finally, looking at our edges and our corners, um, there's a slight scuff on the upper right corner in the blue border, and uh, there is some slight damage to both upper corners. And that's going to go as great of mint nine for this Porygon. I like it. I like it a lot. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video and the grades that I presented. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe and never forget, you got to catch them all. Have a great day.